Okay, so part two of the Easy SketchUp series uh, gets into taking uh, objects that you've made and turning them into groups uh, and learning how to move them around in space and rotate them. I think besides uh, the frustration of learning how to orbit around in space in SketchUp, the second most frustrating part about SketchUp is uh, the fact that everything wants to stick together. Now usually that's a, that makes things easier for you, except once you've created an object um, and you want to move it. For example, if I select all this and grab the move tool, move it around, it's uh, kind of frustrating to realize that everything else around it kind of sticks with it. That's why um, once you create objects, you want to group them. Grouping an object uh, keeps it uh, kind of all stuck to itself and let, keeps it separate from everything else around it. Now, uh, there's uh, things called groups and there's things called components, but uh, just for the sake of uh, keeping things easy um, for beginners, uh, let's kind of ignore components for, for a minute. So um, once I've created my stair uh, tread object here, I want to group it. So I'm going to select everything that's going to be part of my group and just right click and say make group. Now that it's a grouped object, I can use my move tool to move it around and you can see it moves around just fine as a separate object. So uh, moving this thing around in space works uh, just like using the line tool. You um, click to start a point once you've got your move tool. Let me start over here. First you're going to select it using the select tool. Once you have it selected, grab the move tool which is located right here. I'm going to click uh, anywhere in space to start my move and I'm going to drag it out just like you would the line tool. Um, and just like the line tool, it wants to snap into all the directions. So if I want to move it up, I want to snap it into the blue axes. If I want to move it back, I'll snap it to the green. Side to side will be red. So let's say I want to move it back uh, five feet. Well, I'm going to slide it along and before I, I click my final click, I can enter the value precisely five feet and then hit enter and it moves it back. I uh, control Z uh, together. there. So that's how you can move this thing around, um, snapping to axes and entering in values. Another thing you can do is, uh, let's say I want to move these treads in place um, using my, my line work that I drew out for my stringer. So the other way to move things around is to draw lines out to use as guides for yourself. Um, Drawing lines is pretty easy in SketchUp, and so it's uh, it's kind of the easiest way to move objects around is if you draw um, guides for yourself uh, to, to act as pick points uh, for you to move as well. So using the line work as a guide, I can click on the corner here that it snaps to, and then just move it up into place, move up again. I'm going to hit Control-Z to, to undo that. Um, if I want multiple uh, copies of this, of this uh, tread then I want to do the copy move and to do a copy move once you have the move tool selected hover and click on a corner and then also hit control when I hit control you'll see a little plus sign now I can start uh, click once to start and then click again uh, to finish and it's made a copy of the object and moved it into place again um, with the move tool selected I'm going to select the corner uh, hold down on the control key that gives me a little plus sign now I can start by clicking and then click once again alright so I'm gonna hit uh, control Z to undo that a couple times uh, let's say I have a lot uh, of, of objects to move at one time um, in this case like let's say I'm gonna do a full stair run full stair flight uh, another way to copy move is to use the array tool and the array tool lets you copy a lot of objects um, really quickly. So there's a couple different kinds of arrays you can do. You can do an, uh, a multiplying array or you can do an array by divide. Um, and I'll explain the two methods here. So let's say I want uh, 12 versions of the step, uh, this tread going up uh, to make my flight of stairs. So I'm gonna select uh, the tread I'm going to do the move tool. Um, I'm going to snap to a corner uh, to select it. And I'm going to hit control to do a copy move. Move it up once. Click again. And before I click anything else, I'm going to type in X for multiply and then the number of copies I want. In this case, 12. 
I'm going to hit uh, Control Z and undo that just to do it one more time. Again, I'm going to select it, use the Move tool, Control, Copy, Place, and then X, 12. The X, uh, the way I remember it is the X is telling me that it's multiplying it 12 times. Now, uh, the other way to array it is if I know my starting point and I know my ending point, but I want to divide uh, an even number of spaced objects in between those two points. So I'm going to select the middle ones and delete them out of the way. So I'm selecting them and hitting the delete key to delete them out of the way. So I have my starting stair and I have my ending stair. So I'm going to do a copy move from the start to the end and then uh, I'm going to do a divide by uh, to equally space objects in between. So with my first item, my first object selected, I'm going to grab the move tool, click a point, hit control, copy move, click to finish, and before uh, hitting any other keys, this time I'm going to do click the forward slash key on my keyboard for divide, and then uh, I'll do eight for eight stairs. So I'll do that one more time. It probably doesn't make sense to do eight stairs. I should have done twelve. So I'm going to hit Control Z. So again, I'm going to select uh, the object, grab the move tool, select the corner, Control. Click to finish, this time divide by 12, and it puts it in there. Uh, you can change your mind too. You can, um, As long as you don't hit any other keys, I can hit divide and I can put in another number, and I can keep changing it until I've uh, landed on uh, the number I want. You can do this for the multiplier array as well. So you hit divide by 3, enter, divide by 8. You, you get the idea. So finally for moving objects around, I just want to um, show you guys how to rotate objects in space because rotating them is uh, something that's very important to learn as well to do. So um, I, you can rotate anything from a line to a single object or a bunch of objects at one time by selecting them all at once. So in this case if I want to take my stairway and rotate it 90 degrees uh, to the other direction then I'm just going to um, click and hold down and select all at once and then I'm going to go and I'm going to grab my rotate tool which is uh, this button right here, and click on Rotate. From there, what, you, what you're going to find is uh, it creates a little protractor, and the protractor is constantly trying to find uh, planes. And these, these planes, um, it wants to snap to actual directions, just like your axes, just like your line tool and your move tool. So you want to make sure uh, you use this to help you understand how it's rotating in space. For example, um, as I'm hovering around, and I'm moving the protractor around and it lands on the, the red axes. And if I click uh, to start it and click again, then it rotates it about the red axes. However, if uh, the protractor is blue, that means it's going to uh, rotate in the blue around the blue axes and so it's going to be level. So most of the time you're ro rotating it uh, level and so the protractor should be blue. So um, to rotate objects, uh, you're going to First, make sure you have it in the right plane. Uh, click your point of rotation. Then I'm going to move the mouse out. I'm going to click my starting point. And then I'm going to move it in the direction I want to move it. And I can click my final point. Again, it wants to snap to axes. I'm going to hit uh, Control Z to undo that. Just to show you that you can also rotate in a precise number of degrees uh, if it's not along an axis. So again, with my rotation tool, click my rotation point, drag it out, click to start. I'm gonna, and I need to rotate it out the direction I want to rotate. But before I click anything else, I'm gonna type in a number. In this case, let's say 45 for 45 degrees. Hit enter, and it'll rotate it around 45 degrees. Hit Control Z uh, to undo that one more time. And I just want to point out that um, even if you want to rotate a shape that doesn't have uh, flat planes for it to snap to. Um, you can still, uh, for example, let's say I want to rotate it about this, uh, uh, well, it doesn't matter, uh, any, any kind of point in space. Um, if you click and hold down on the click, you can orbit around and still snap to axes. I'm not sure if this is uh, very uh, clear in, in what I'm trying to demonstrate here, but I just want to uh, make sure that it's understood that 
you don't need planes uh, to ro to rotate. Use the rotate tool in um, in 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 the planes that you need. You don't need planes to snap to. You can always click a point of rotation, and if you hold down on the mouse button, it lets you um, or orbit all the way around and snap to different axes regardless if you have a face to land the protractor on or not. And finally one more trick is uh, as far as arrays go, a multiplier divide array, they also work in rotation as well. So if I want to click to rotate this thing out, I'm going to hold down on the control key, click to start, bring it around, click to finish, and then I can always hit times however many copies I want, and it will do a uh, multiply or divide array as well. For part three, I'll get into uh, modeling more complicated objects.